What's up everybody, my name is Jan Detters, also known as Typhoon on Instagram and today I'm going to create my first YouTube tutorial video on how you guys can create this beautiful O brand mark. Let's dive right into Illustrator so I can show you the process. Okay ladies and gentlemen, this is the artboard where we are going to work in. First of all, you are going to activate the grid so you can easily click and drag the circles which we need for the letter O. You select view in the top menu and you go to show grid which activates the grid. After that you select the ellipse tool in the toolbar or you press on L on your keyboard. You click and drag the circle from top left to bottom right and when you hold shift you can create a perfect circle. And when you don't hold shift, you can create a random circle or random ellipse. Next thing we are going to do is to create the inner circle. And you do this the same way by click and drag with holding shift. And we want to make sure this inner circle is in the center of the outer circle. After that, we are going to create two other circles for the letter O. We select the inner circle, hold alt on your keyboard and drag it with shift to the right side of the O. <coughs> what we are going to do now, we are going to make this circle bigger. And you drag it to the left side of the inner circle. And after that, you want to duplicate this circle again, but to the left side of the outside circle. So when we have this shape, we want to duplicate it. So if anything would go wrong, we always have the original shape to work in. So next thing we want to do is create the two parts which create the letter O brand mark together. First of all, select all the circles. Go to the toolbar and select Shape Builder Tool or select Shift M on your keyboard. And now we can merge the shapes together. We want to create these ones together. And now we want to remove all the shapes we don't need. And we are going to work with this shape. So now we are going to cut the shape in two. <laughs> oh, so now we are going to cut the shape in two. Select the scissors tool in the toolbar or press C on your keyboard. And we want to cut those pointy edges. So now we have divided this shape in two. So now it's very important to simplify the parts, otherwise the blend effect won't work out well. Select the two parts, go to object, part, simplify. And we want to make sure this is dragged to the left. After that, we are going to apply the blend tool, select the two parts, go to object, blend, blend options. As you can choose specified steps in the drop down menu and we want to make it 10 steps. Press OK. Go to object again. Go to blend and make. And this is how you apply the blend effect to those two lines. And now we are going to create the whole shape again by selecting the part and duplicate it with Alt to your right. And we can rotate it 180 degrees and fit it nicely into each other again. Okay guys, this is how we create the O brand mark with the blend tool. Hope you guys learned something new today. If you did, please drop a like, follow the channel, and I see you in my next video.